hello family good afternoon or good evening or good morning depending on where you are we thank god for today for today is a day that the lord has made i hope you are all doing well wherever you are i also hope that you've been enjoying the videos that we've been showing about oil making uh, we do show these videos about oil making because while we talk about farming, you may not want to be a farmer that goes to the field to plant, to harvest, but you may be involved in farming somehow. You may be a farmer that buys seeds and you process them into oil. So just continuing with the videos that we have been doing recently about oil making. Have you subscribed to the channel? Have you been liking the content? Have you been sharing if you liked the content? So please like the videos when you like them. Share uh, so that you help others to know about our channel and also to be aware about the content that we talk about. And do not forget to subscribe. Anyway, continuing to talk about oil. I have gone out today and I have bought some seeds. I've bought uh, soya bean seeds. I've bought sunflower seeds and I've bought almond seeds. These are all oil seeds and I'm going to try and press oil from all these three. I want to compare the oil content of these three compared to, to castor oil. From the uh, last time we made oil, we found out that the oil content um, from black Jamaican castor seeds uh, is roughly 45% from the kilogram or just above a kilogram which i used to press oil last time we got 400 mils i think 410 mils of uh, castor oil using a machine so i just want to compare this oil content of castor beans to other cast uh, to other oil seeds since we are going into oil pressing business i think it's just best to know what the oil content compared to other to other uh, common oil seeds there are many 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 oil seeds but i've just chose these three to try and squeeze oil from so without further ado i will start the um, process of pressing oil from these seeds i'll take a kilogram of each kind of seed and press it and compare what the oil content is compared to uh, castor oil so thank you so much and I'll see you when the results are out. Stay blessed, remain blessed, but do not go away yet. We need to know what's happened. Thank you so much. See you shortly. Hello again. Okay. So I've got I've got the results here. I've pressed all three seeds that I told you about. So this one here in front of me is uh almond seeds which i pressed into oil so i've got the cake here it's quite a lot and i've got the oil there i just had to use those glasses i'm sorry i didn't have anything else to use i just had to use those glasses as, as a comparing measure because i've got enough glasses for for all the three oils but that's almond i'll let you know how much uh it is in mirrors just now the next one is um sunflower seeds and the cake for the sunflower seeds and then the last one you will see that i have not put it in a glass not because i don't have the glasses but i have not got enough oil from the soya beans so that's how much soya beans i've 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 managed to squeeze from a kilo well not from a whole kilogram um I'm not quite sure the factors that have caused the, the, the soya beans not to come out. That's the cake. 
it's quite a lot of cake when it was coming out of the machine it was quite wet and that time if i tried to squeeze this out I, I will have oil in my hands when it was still wet it's of course it's dry now i don't know whether the processing capacity of the machine uh failed i'm not sure but the machine was struggling to grind um uh soya beans this experiment is good for me because as i says as i'm going into oil business i and i'm going to i'm preparing to buy a machine uh that presses oil it's good for me to know uh what kind of um seeds that will be compatible with that machine it may well be that this machine is not compatible with the uh, soya beans or it may well be the fact that i the machine has been running for about an hour going more so it was getting tired i'm not quite sure what caused it but i could not press much oil from the soya beans so i just i was very surprised so i just had to google to see what the oil content normally is for soya beans and it does say that the oil content in soya beans is relatively low it's something like 18 to 20 um percent so i'm not too surprised anyway let's just check to see how much oil this is from a kilogram so this is almond oil i'll pour it into my measuring jug this oil is quite thick but not as thick as the castor oil castor oil is very very thick so almond oil is good for your skin it's good for hair so from one kilogram of uh, of almonds uh i we managed to squeeze give or take 400 mils of oil as you can see the oil is still quite dark um depending on what we are going to use it for i think i'm going to mix it with castor oil for hair i don't think i'm going to try and boil it to clean it out we'll just use it as raw as it is uh i would just estimate that this was roughly the same amount of the of the almond and the sunflower although the sunflower looked as if it was a little bit less we may go with 350 mils or so of the sunflower oil um, from the one kilogram uh, of one kilogram of soya beans i've got the cake i think maybe in another video we will talk about the uses for these cakes I will have to go away and research what use is the almond cake, the sunflower cake, or the soya bean cake. We know already about the cake for the castor bean, what it's used for. So thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Video. I do not want it to be too long. See you in the next video. Please do not forget to share, to, to like, and to comment, and also to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Stay blessed, remain blessed. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.